Hi, my name is Shin and I'd like to show you a customized uh, Sony Ericsson Xperia x 10 v But this is not the Pro version and then uh, you can do it on the Pro version as well because it's uh, the same system. Um, if you press any button uh, that's not a face button, you get this unlock screen. And it's, uh, it's a free... Uh, the next screen uh, called block bot. Um, the, the free one can not be customized that much, but as you can see, it still looks very nice. And um, you can choose uh, several uh, lock mechanisms. And I chose the iPhone one because it's pretty. Um, it, it fits with the rest of my theme. Uh, it looks nice. And when I unlock it, I get this screen. As you can see, I have uh, different icons and uh, multiple widgets on each screen. Um, this is not. If you have this film, uh, you'll find out that uh, the stock interface only allows one widget on each screen. So I installed. Um, a ADW uh, launcher, uh, which is also free, and uh, it's basically um, a new interface. Um, it's pretty small download, and it's really worth it because, as you can see, it looks amazing. Um, you can customize it uh, to how you want it. Um, I three the entire day with my phone, so I have how I want now um, and disable some things um, like there's a dog farm when you slide up the, and that don't confuse me so I move it and um, when you slide up I um, instead of pressing the but the home button to get previews I made it so that if you slide up you get all the previews of all the screens you can uh, make more screens or less screens, in the, uh, depending on how you want to do it. Now I added another left screen. Uh, it's still empty, but it's, you can see I can just go there. And when I view all the previews, I see all the screens. Um, I don't need this empty screen, so I'm going to remove it again. There. Um, I'll, I'll tell you right now. Uh, this entire phone is uh, tweaked uh, with free stuff, except for one thing, uh, which is this Switch Pro. Uh, it costs one euro, but uh, it's very customizable. But, uh, it's extremely handy. You can get different apps for what it does, but uh, it's a widget. And you can customize how many widgets you want. So you can see it. Um, with the press of a button, I can uh, enable uh, Wi Fi or uh, even the light, which is very handy. I had a different app for this, but now we move that because I got this. Um, it's really handy just to have that Wi Fi. Um, even this, uh, I added a 10% brightness uh, for this video because otherwise it would be too bright but uh, as you can see I can customize how bright I want I chose which uh, percent percentages I wanted 10% 30% 60% 100% you can uh, customize it how you want you can turn on uh, Wi-Fi as I said before and my 3G uh, I press this one Actually, I can just it. And then I'll turn off my machine. There we go. Uh, normally, all always leave it on, so turn it back on. Um, so this is my default screen. I have uh, the standard clock. Um, I also have the bed stat um, widget. Uh, it shows how much battery will 
very good uh, battery life I have uh, in tech so it's just 90, 97% uh, which looks really nice especially because oh, what's the, no I have no idea what that was um, yeah uh, because I combined um, another widget uh, called time spelled T A J M uh, widget which shows the time in text quarter to 11 p.m. Uh, on my notebook screen so it looks really uh, nice like this um, you, in this yeah in uh, a W launcher you can um, add customized icons on the screen um, I'll show you how it goes I'll do that new screen actually because all my other screens are full there we go yeah, I got an empty screen left so if I want to add a custom shortcut I can pick an activity. In this case, uh, I always refer to apps. Let's just call Groupbox here. It'll take a little bit to learn, but that's because I have lots of apps. Uh, say I want air control light, free game. Um, then I can press the icon to change the picture. Oh, I can now uh, because I'm holding it like this, it thinks I'm in landscape. Um, here I download uh, an icon pack, it's uh, a Windows 7 phone uh, icon uh, pack. It's, uh, I'll see if I can find the link and I'll post it in the description. Um, and I usually select this. Controller icon for games. Now you can name it how you want and press OK. And there you go. You have a customized icon just referring to the same application uh, as, not, as it normally would. Air control light. I'm not going to play now, so I'm going to put it on So this is it. So this is really. Uh, in a nice way to make your phone look a lot nicer and uh, you can still do everything what you want to do and uh, you can still see all the apps and you can even see more now per screen because you can customize this as well uh, most of the apps can only see 3x3 three three, I think um, yeah what else uh, Oh, I also have uh, Handsend SMS. Uh, one other YouTube video shows uh, uh, has that in the description about uh, how much better it is. So I got it as well. And I hope you cannot see the text just for the privacy thing. But uh, yeah, I'll just move on. Right on it. Yeah, it looks a bit like an iPhone. Uh, but what's really great about this is you can hold it in the landscape. There you go. And you, you can see why I'm shaping, right? Because it's a mask test text. In landscape, you can have you can download a quirky keyboard and uh, type like this. And I can actually type here. Uh, just in keyboard. Now, that's right. Oh, I misspell a lot, but. And I don't have the page version, so I can't. I would automatically correct it. It's real 
still really nice for those who don't have a pro. Which you can um, type a lot better if it's in T9. Uh, I have to make sure I'm not going to send this. So I'm going to backspace this. There. Yeah, and that that's the SMS. Um, yeah, it's called hand send. Uh, it's H. Yeah, I'll just write it in the video description. And this is timescape as you know. <laughs> it's shaking a bit. Can you see that? I think you can. Um, hand send. Uh, SMS also has the widget uh, for your text messages, so add it here. Um, in the end, yeah, this is how it looks like, and it's really uh, you have all the functions as you normally would. There's no nothing to lose if you go with the A D W launcher. Sorry for my slow English, but um, it's not the native English, so I can think of it as the um, These two icons, I did the same icons as you normally with uh, calls and um, contacts. So it's exactly the same. Um, yeah, no, that's about it. Uh, go stand by with it. It's back to the really nice lock screen. I used to use the um, unlock pattern because uh, with the stock one, if you press um, the menu button twice, you lock it without if you don't use the pattern. And that really was annoying because it's way too easy to uh, not uh, didn't want that to happen because the whole thing was accidentally call people. Oh, what's this? Oh, there was like secret way to lock for spamming these buttons. Well, that's not how that works. Um, yeah, I'm going to change the, this thing back. By adding widgets, Switch Pro, and there I can go to options and select what level of brightness I want. So I always choose 30, 60. There you go. Close that. And now you only have those options. This should be 30, and it's way too bright even the video. Yeah, so you can see much. Now you want to like this video and give uh, these programs a try. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's it.